So in this video lecture, we're going to study about integration method, uh, integration by substitution method. So the key thing that you need to remember in this method is simply to identify the appropriate U in the integrand and then work out the problem. So we'll use some examples to illustrate that. So evaluate the following. So the first example, integrate e raised power 14x minus 7 dx. So solution here. So we know the integration of the e raised power x, but then because the power is not e raised power x, so then we try as much as possible to make sure that the power of e is just a single variable. So we say let u to be 14x minus 7. And then from this one, du will be given by 14 dx. Then make dx the subject. So we have dx equals to du over 14 and therefore in the integral you replace where this x by du over 14 and where this 14 x minus 7 by u. so we'll have integral e raised power u times dx you put du over 14. now this is the same as 1 over 14 integral e raised power u du now it is very easy to evaluate the integral of e raised power u which is just e raised power u and then plus a constant of integration. But don't forget to leave your answer. Uh, to uh, Don't forget to substitute what u was because u was not in the question. So the answer becomes 1 over 14 e raised power 14x minus 7 plus c. So that becomes the solution to that given problem. Example 2. integral of x plus 1 and then e raised power x squared plus 2x dx. Now here, uh, when you observe the integral, you can either pick this part but or this part here. But then what you pick, the suitable, suitable choice for you is that function which when you differentiate, you get something that looks the same in the same same integral. So the best choice for you here will be this power of e. So you say let u to be x squared plus 2x. So from this one, we have du equals to 2x my, uh, plus 2 dx. From this one, you can factor out 2 so that we have x plus 1 dx. So you can make dx the subject by writing dx equals to du over 2 into x plus 1. Now replace the integral in terms of u so that we have integral x plus 1 e raised power. This power becomes u. Where this dx we write du over 2 into x plus 1. Now at this point, we see that clearly this term in x and this term in x will cancel out so that our integral becomes just integral e raised power u over 2 du. We factor out the half. So the answer will be a half e raised power u plus c, but don't leave your answer in u because u was our own creation. So therefore the answer becomes e raised power, a half e raised power x squared plus 2x and then plus c. Example three, 
integral of e raised power x over e raised power x plus 1. This one is raised power 4. Yes. So you have to be very careful that what you choose you are you should help you to reduce the problem so that the function becomes purely in terms of u. So at this point, uh, the suitable choice for u will be this denominator raised to power 4. So then pick this value here. So let u to be given by e raised to power x plus 1. So which means that du will be given by e raised to power x dx. So which means that then dx will be given by du over e raised power x. So the integral will be written as e raised power x. This will be u power 4 du over e raised power x. So this part, this and uh, this cancels out so that now our integral just becomes integral 1 over u raised power 4 du, which is the same as u raised power negative 4 du. And then using the power rule for integration, we have e raised power minus 4 plus 1 over minus 4 plus 1, then plus c, which will be just negative 1 over 3 u raised power minus 3 plus c. And then you replace what you are, you was, so it's the same as negative 1 over 3 into e raised power x plus 1 over 3 plus c. And then number 4, integral of sec squared theta times e raised power tan theta, the theta. So you pick your u so that when you differentiate that function, you can get something or another function which is in the integrand that they will help you to cancel out. So then there are these two possibilities, this or this one, but then from our knowledge of differentiation and integration, you see that if you integrate tan, you get sec squared. So this will be the suitable choice for you. So let u to be tan theta. So which means that then the u will be sec squared theta d theta. And then we make the theta the subject will be the u over sec squared theta. So then now you rewrite your integral as now integral sec squared theta e raised power u where this d theta you write the u over sec squared theta. Now at this point you see clearly that this and this will cancel out so that your integral just becomes integral of e raised power u du which is e raised power u plus c but then you remember that u is e uh, is tan of theta and then plus C. Number five. So integral e raised power t over e raised power 2t plus 2 e raised power t plus 1 dt. So this is what uh, we do. So it seems to be a very complicated problem, but it's not very hard. So once you pick a suitable choice for you, you'll be able to do the problem into a, a function that you can easily integrate. So let u to be e raised power t. And then from this one, you see when you square it, it's like saying e raised power t square from loss of indices, then this is the same as e raised power 2t. So what is 2 e raised power 2t, we can replace by u squared. So therefore now from this one, du is the same as e raised power t dt. So it means that then dt will be given by du over e raised power t. So then now, 
so we rewrite our integral into in terms of u. So therefore, we have e raised power t, and then over. So e raised power two t will be u squared. This will be plus two u, then plus one. Where this dt is replaced by du over e raised power t. Clearly, from this one, e raised power t and e raised power t cancels out. Uh, then this will give us integral du over u squared plus 2u plus 1. Now, denominator is not very, so this, the, uh, the, this step here, this one is not very easy to integrate, but then we can factorize this one. So u squared plus 2u plus 1. This is a quadratic expression, so product is 1, sum is 2, so numbers 1 and 1. So this is like u squared plus u plus u plus 1. And then this will be u into u plus 1 plus 1 into u plus 1. So this will be same as u plus 1 times u plus 1, which is u plus 1 square. So which means that then this integral here is the same as du over u plus 1 square. Now we do another substitution now. So we say let capital U to be this small u plus 1. So which means that then the capital U will be the same as this small u. So we, re we change now this integral in terms of capital U. So we'll have integral. So this one becomes integral. Whereas the small u is the same as the capital U over capital U squared. This can be written as the integral of capital U minus 2 the capital U. And then when you use power rule, we'll have negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1, then plus C. And then you remember that negative, so this will give us now capital U raised power negative 1 over just negative 1 plus C. And then that's the same thing as saying just negative 1 over capital U plus C. But you don't leave your answer here. U was not in our in, in picture. So remember this is the same as negative 1 over the capital U is the same as U small U plus 1. But also small U was not into picture. So just remember this will be negative U is the same as E raised power T and then plus 1, then plus C. So this becomes the final answer. Another example, we have integral of the x over x into ln of x square. So solution here, the suitable choice for u will be given by ln of x. So from this one, the u will be given by 1 over x dx. So which means that then the x will be given by x du. So you change the integral where this the x you put x du. So we'll have x du over x where this ln you put so u squared. So from this one, this and this cancels out so that we have integral du over u squared, which is the same as integral of u minus 2 du and then also use power rule to get u minus 2 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus c which will be given by u minus 1 over minus 1 plus c or just minus 1 over u plus c but you don't leave your answer in u you replace what u simply means uh, from the equation will be negative 1 over our u was ln of x. So ln of x, then plus c. And the last example on this method integral of cot 
x ln of sin x dx. So for this one here, you let u to be let u to be ln of sin x, which means that then the u will be given by 1 over sin x times cos x, which is the same as cot of x. So therefore, the integral will be cot x, uh, then dx. So it means that dx will be given by du over cot x. So cot x times, so ln of sin x, we have let it to be u. dx is the same as du over cot x. And then from this one, cot and cot cancels out. So that we remain with integral of u du, which is simply u squared over 2 plus c. But you don't leave your answer in terms of u. You rewrite what u was. So that will be given by a half then into ln of sin x squared plus c. So substitution method is a very easy method. Once you simply, once you have the integrand, identify the part which you can let it if you let it to be u, it can allow you to differentiate that function u to have some other functions which are within the integrand that can help you to cancel out and then use the simple rules of differentiation that is power rule and then maybe simple trigonometric uh, integration to find the solutions. So if you have more example, more questions on the same, feel free to ask. Uh, you'll get help. So thank you and please press the subscribe button.